part five, we saw the robots finally fitted to the yeah, fitted to the rooms. This was a fantastic achievement. But now we needed somewhere to put the cows. Okay, robots in. We needed concrete and a lot of it. We started laying the passageways first, up and down the building, uh, creating the first lay or first pot all in one go and a massive L shape, all the way all the way down half of the building. We also put the posts in where the dividing or walkway would would be. Next we had to set up all the posts for the easy fix cubicles, all set up accurately, the reason being because the rubber mats had to fit precisely between them. We did it in two halves, we poured one side and one side, if you understand what I mean, one half and then the second half. We used the pump guys to pump the concrete in because it was an impossible task to get in. Once this was completed, we also went on and laid the second side of the double row and then also laying the feed passage outside. All the concrete on the first section was now laid and we were ready to start fitting the easy fix cubicles. First went down the rubber mats. We used Jupiter mats with the built-in brisket board. These proved to be extremely heavy but very, very easy to set up because we spent such a lot of time getting all the posts accurate. Simon and Dad set up the uh, cattle race round the back of the robot rooms. This was going to be used as just for treating cows or for AI in the cows later on. They spent a lot of time drinking tea but they did a good job. Finally, stage one was just about complete. All we needed to do now was more or less add cows and it wasn't long before they came in. We were still milking a few cows on the milking parlour in the old building but finally we were ready for them. We now had to stand back and just take a breath and just look what we'd actually accomplished. Everything set up and ready to go. We added the sawdust and finally went to fetch the cows. It would never look as clean again ever. Stage one was now complete. We spent all winter milking the cows on one robot and the other half on the milking parlour. That Later that summer, we had Mark back with his little digger to come and dig the second slurry store tank under the building. We did it all the way across as we'd done before, but this one was going to be slightly smaller and a little bit more challenging due to it being so narrow. Mark did an excellent job of digging out as always. Then he created a ring of, around the edge where the concrete panels would fit. We had a layer of concrete marked out in blue exactly where the panels will stand. Then we set to, and or Simon did with his JCB, carrying each panel down individually, one at once. But you can see how narrow the actual runway was in the middle where we had to drive down. He did an excellent job of actually putting them all in one by one until we finally built and completed the second tank. As of before, reinforcing bars went in all around the ring, or, or, or ring base, and then it will all be held together with the ring of concrete inside and out, which will make it stand up. This was to give it a, like a, a Y or a triangular shaped reinforcement around the concrete, uh, concrete panels with all the steel work. Once that had been completed and closed off, we then set to and prepared the floor. The floor was laid exactly the same way, pouring concrete all the way around the hedge supporting and then the actual floor itself was laid again with reinforcing all on the top, uh, which obviously seals everything back up together. All went extremely well, but we had to be careful supporting the panels along the way to make sure they didn't fall over, obviously, for safety reasons. We did this just by strapping them with woods across the top and screwing and securing them so they couldn't fall over. Now the tank is complete, the next stage was to actually fill in around the edges, which we did, making sure everything was as safe as possible. Then to put the top on. The top was started at one end, putting the manhole on first, then the next panel, and then we moved on to moving on to this. Then we moved on to putting on the slats. The slats went on one by one, creating a road as we went across, driving across. This felt a little bit strange and was had to be watched and had to be monitored carefully to make sure the actual panels didn't break. Apart from they did, carrying the last panel to be fitted in place and touched the wheel on one of the short panels it actually collapsed and dropped into the tank 
Luckily, the JCB never went in, but it did make his hair stand on end. We did laugh about it afterwards, but it could have been terrible. What had happened was the panel hadn't been made correctly. There were no long bars in, only short reinforcing bars the wrong way. They did replace the panel free of charge, and all was good.